How's it going people? Thanks for tuning in. It's Alex here, Small Cars Direct, and I'm going to give you a quick review of how this X6 drives. So as you can see, we've got a lovely reverse park camera sensor, nice and clear camera. A lot of the cars these days, they just get a reverse camera put in them for, just for the sake of saying, got a reverse camera. This one, the BMW, crystal clear, really easy to see what's going on behind you. So we've got the flappy paddle gearbox as well. So we've got the shifters on the steering wheel, a load to spec as you'd expect from an M Sport BMW of this modern era. So we've got the three stage uh, heated seats, got the heated steering wheel, love it. Just click that button there, steering wheel comes on, flick it again, obviously comes off. Got the electrically adjustable steering wheel, up, down, in, out. So again, really easy to operate, but obviously the highlight of the X6 is going to be its dynamic driving experience. If we're left out of here, you'll see the torque kicks in pretty much instantly. I mean, for such a big, heavy SUV, the performance is phenomenal. Um, you really do feel all of its power so early on. Lovely digi dash, I don't know if you can see that, but it's nice and clear, nice modern feel to it. This is a 67 uh, 2017 example and it's covered uh, just over 21,000 miles. So you would expect it to still have that new car feel to it. Gearbox, nice and engaging. So let's flick it down. All the way down to third. Again, it just gives you uh, that more engaged feel by overriding the gears yourself. Now that's not to say that the gearbox isn't already slick and smooth. It is a nice and durable drive, whether you're just relaxing or whether you just want to go for a more of a sporty drive, if that's how you're feeling at the time. Dual zone climate as you expect. Um, also heel hold, Harman Kardon in this, um, which is a really nice audio system. I wouldn't say it's the best uprated audio system I've experienced before, um, but certainly a noticeable over and above the standard stereo as well. Loads of safety features you'd expect, so if you just hit there, it basically gives you the option to have all of the collision warning, pedestrian alert and lane departure warning working as well or you can toggle certain features off if they're not to your liking but I don't really see why you wouldn't have them on for your and your passengers safety and um, that's about it I hope the brief video has been useful and um, consider subscribing to the channel I've got loads of videos we upload um, almost weekly now and uh, check you guys out soon